the census, as Darlene stated, you know, when you break it down, it comes down to power and money, you know, those two items. And when we talk about power, we talk about, you know, how your elected official districts are carved up and carved out. And um, we talk about the money piece being education and childcare. We talk about food and nutrition programs. We talk about healthcare and housing programs. You know, we talk about, um, you know, and, and, and making it specific to Richmond. You know, Richmond has a uh, significant Section 8 program. Um, and if we don't get folks in Richmond to be counted, when the federal government decides to start allocating and reapportioning dollars for Section 8, they're going to look at, okay, where's the density at? And if it's not here shown in Richmond, Richmond could, could, could lose out. We talk about health care. Um, and if uh, we don't get the adequate numbers um, for our Medicaid dollars that come back into the community, uh, that's a loss. Uh, we talk about how other organizations, foundations, who use census data when they're aggregating their research um, in terms of how they want to, um, you know, do certain research projects. Again, that's all derived by census data. And so, um, as we were talking earlier, it's one of those things where uh, if you don't get counted, that's 10 years of not having a voice in what goes on in your community. 